Hello, my name is Rodney Foster, and I want to thank you for taking the time to engage with me in this informational presentation that I've entitled, For Better or Worse, a Discussion on Premarital Christian Counseling. Now, as we begin this presentation, I'd like to ask a simple question that I, I think that we all can relate to, and that is, have you ever looked forward to a trip or a vacation only to arrive and find that what you expected didn't really happen? In other words, maybe what was on the brochure was not really happening to you in reality, and so you were let down. Or maybe you arrived just fine, but you forgot to pack some essential items like maybe a toothbrush or deodorant, or maybe even more importantly, underwear. And I know that's not a very comfortable feeling to think about. You know, being ill-prepared for a trip is definitely an inconvenience, but being ill-prepared for marriage is incredibly devastating. And you know, many people experience this fact. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention of 2017, on the data of marriage and divorce, out of 2,236,496 marriages, 787,251 of those same marriages ended in divorce. You know, it's no doubt that divorce is a prevalent problem in our society. And unfortunately, I will tell you that I personally understand that truth. I'm a man who has experienced divorce, and I know how devastating it is. And I will tell you that I was ill-prepared for marriage. However, now that I'm a pastor and now that I'm happily married and understand the value of premarital Christian counseling, I will tell you that I will, I believe in it 100%. I also actually help other couples who are seeking marriage to go through premarital Christian counseling under my care. And there is great success. And you know, while it is true that some couples forego premarital Christian counseling, others make the wise investment of counseling to help their marriage become more successful uh, and happy in the future. And so today I want to give you a broader perspective of this important topic of counseling, premarital Christian counseling, by discussing the purpose, the process, and the benefits of premarital Christian counseling, beginning with understanding the purpose of counseling in general. You know, one of the main purposes of premarital Christian counseling is found and that it promotes a deeper understanding of God's will for marriage. You know, in Scripture, God tells us, and He, he explains that marriage is to bring fulfillment and, 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 and contentment, as well as completion. And so I want to show you this in the story of Adam and Eve. In Genesis chapter 2, 22-24, talking about Adam and Eve in marriage, it says, The Lord God made a woman from the rib, and He brought her to the man. At last, He exclaimed, this is now bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. She will be called woman because she is taken from man. This explains why a man leaves his father and mother and is joined to his wife, and the two are united into one. You see, God helps us, and the purpose of premarital Christian counseling is that God uses that to help us understand that marriage is the marriage relationship is for completion and fulfillment. Another purpose of premarital Christian counseling is found and that it helps the couple understand God's code of conduct for a healthy marriage. He gives direction for the husband. He also gives direction for the wife in Scripture. You know, in Scripture it says in Ephesians chapter 5, 21 through 22, it says, Submit to one another out of reverence for Christ. For wives, this means submit to your husbands as to the Lord. In Ephesians chapter 5, 25, it says, For husbands, this means love your wives just as Christ loved the church he gave up himself for her. And so premarital Christian counseling helps couples understand God's code of conduct for marriage. Now that we have a greater understanding of the purpose, let's now expand on the practical mechanics of discussing the process of premarital Christian counseling. You know, initially, as the couple decides to pursue counseling, there's a process they go through. Initially, the counselor and the couple meet to agree on a realistic timetable and workable schedule. Next, the counselor would outline and discuss the topics to be discussed in the counseling. According to Tambling and Globona, in the 2013 article entitled, Preferences of Individuals in Committed Relationships Regarding Premarital Counseling, published in the academic journal, American Journal of Family Therapy, they say the most essential topics are communication, conflict resolution, awareness of partner concerns, re resolving differences, and stress management. You know, one, once these topics have been discussed and have been outlined, finally the counseling session begins 
and it ends as initially agreed, agreed upon. So now that you have a basic understanding of the process, let's conclude our presentation with what I like to call the payoff as couples reap the benefits of premarital Christian counseling. And so what are the prime benefits? Well, first and foremost, the couples gain a closer relationship personally and collectively together with God. They also understand the expectations and the code of conduct as we discussed. In continuation, recent information from the Mayo Clinic explains that premarital counseling equips couples to engage in a more healthy interaction with one another, and they're able to better navigate on unforeseen problems in the future. And one of the most noted benefit is found in the tangible results that premarital Christian counseling provides. To clarify, according to Tambling and Globona in the 2013 article entitled Preferences of Individuals in Committed Relationships Regarding Premarital Counseling, published in the academic journal American Journal of Family Therapy, research evidence is clear in that premarital, edu premarital education is helpful in improving marital satisfaction and decreasing divorce, which is exactly what we want to do. And so we can see that premarital Christian counseling is a noteworthy endeavor. And while it is true that although some engaged couples choose to forego premarital Christian counseling, others decide to make the wise investment of counseling to assure that they have a happy and more successful future as a married couple. And so as we conclude this presentation, I want to personally thank you for engaging with me in this presentation, and I hope you feel better informed on the purpose, process, and benefits of premarital counseling. You know, as I close this presentation, I want to just make one final statement, and that is God loves marriage. After all, he created it. And so I would say, let's help preserve it. And how do we do that? Well, now that we understand the premarital counseling as far as its purpose and process and benefits, I think we can confidently suggest it to those who are seeking marriage so that they can actually have a wonderful journey in the marriage relationship. I want to thank you for your time and for engaging with me in this informational presentation entitled, For Better or Worse, a Discussion on Premarital Christian Counseling. Thank you.